Hey everyone, and welcome back to Vitruvian Art. Uh, today I have a dragon eye gem tutorial for you. Um, and of course, it really is a dragon eye, but I have the way it looks kind of as a gem. So, because I mean, honestly, that's kind of how you draw all eyes, but that's cool. So, I was just going to draw it out for you here. So you could see the way I like to do them. And then I like to have like the surrounding folds of skin, I guess. Kind of like that. I don't know. It's just random. You could do it however you would like. I'm way over on the screen. Look at that. Okay. So. And then I'm just going to go ahead and put in the pupil where I want it. For dragons, they're a little bit like cats. Um, cats have the, uh, the more diamond-ish look to it, whereas I think dragons are more of a, like a, like a cut. I don't know. I'm not sure how to explain that, but like a, uh, like a cut like that. I'm just going to go ahead and fill it in. And you could do this with colored pencil. You could even change the color of this if you wanted to. Just like that. Now, the colors that I picked out, because I want a kind of greenish, bluish eye, are grass green, cobalt turquoise, and dantherine blue, and black. Now, what I want to do first is start around the pupil and kind of give it a little bit of super bright halo of this green around the pupil. And then also where the bottom of the eye is down here. We're going to just have a nice little field of this green. And as a gem, this would be our reflected light. Just like that. So it would be at the bottom. And then I'm going to go in with Cobalt Turquoise and start building it up here. I'm going to kind of give it that bit of a second halo almost. Just kind of start help blending it in. because I don't want to lose that green. I'm gonna make sure that I go down around the bottom, which is would be the edge of our gem, so that we keep that roundness, the uh, 3D quality of it. Then I'm going to get my indanthering blue and start going in up here 
I'm going to go over that a little bit, but you can still see the green, and we'll make it a little bit deeper as we go. Right here, as the eye kind of turns, you're going to have it darker as well, so... really get into that edge into the corner go down here get along the bottom of it just a little bit Like that. Okay. Now I want to go back in with the light green, the grass green that I have, and start working on the second layer and getting some stuff in here nice and smooth. I love the way polychromos blend. They're just a dream. And you can just blend them just like this and they get nice and smooth and it's amazing. Alright, now I'm going to go in with the cobalt turquoise. And start just getting that middle color really coming through there. Just like that. There we go. Really starting to get some depth in there now, and that's what we want. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, I'm going to take the black. We're going to start getting around the edges and just really start amping up the depth of this. And the black kind of makes the shadow just fall backwards into the creases of the dragon's skin or whatever you're doing. It just really starts just coming to life, and I really enjoy that. That's probably one of the best things about creating, is just watching stuff just come to life under your pencils, or your paints, or whatever. I don't really want to lose our little halo. I'm just going to come in here and do that.
That looks really good. I think I want to bring the Indian Three and Blue back. Back. Excuse me, not black. And I don't want it to be as smooth as I would want a perfect gem to look because I kind of like the idea that, you know, it has imperfections and it has fire and character inside of it. So, all right, so I'm going to take the Indian Three Blue, just kind of make some little marks around here just for more character, I guess. I really should have sharpened this pencil first, but that's okay. And you can notice how each time I go back in with the color, it just brings up the, the vibrancy of it. There we go. All right, that's pretty much it. <clears throat> if this could get any darker, I want it to be darker. And then, right across from where you think it's kind of the lightest, that's where your highlight's going to be. So right across here, let me get my uniball out. So I think I'm going to have it come... right across here. Remember, highlights can be totally messy and it's okay. You can always fix them, so don't worry about it. Like that, that's super messy and that's okay. Like you don't need to be concerned or freaked out. Just take your pencil or a colorless blender pencil. Just kind of very carefully, you can just kind of edit your highlight so that it's got nice smooth edges, looks real clean. I'm spreading the gel pen stuff everywhere. <sighs> Just like that. And that is our dragon eye. So. I would love to see how you bring this into your designs and how you doodle around it and everything else and or even if you're doing a dragon gem or a dragon drawing and you decide to do the eyes like this I would love to see it um so just uh make sure you do it on Facebook and tag me and let me know how it came out all right talk to you guys later bye